Well, if it looks like a painting you've seen, there's a reason. This is a new three-dimensional interpretation of a Botticelli masterpiece, The Birth of Venus, and it is made entirely of balloons. We're going to take a closer look at it in just a moment, but first, let's meet the artist who is Larry Moss, and he has entered his work putting on airs in Art Prize. Yes. I've got to tell you, you call yourself an aragamist, and it's very interesting, and it makes sense. Talk a little bit you, about your art. Aragami is the fine art of folding air, sure. and I, it came about because I've been working with balloons for a number of years. I've been having a whole lot of fun doing things differently, playing with a lot of different media, and I settled on the balloons. And I have found more recently that I've run into the problem of people going, balloons, how is that a valid medium for art? <laughs> so I thought for Art Prize, the best way to get this message across was to actually recreate pieces that have previously been identified as art, like sure. the Birth of Venus, well, the let, Mona let's Lisa. Take a, let's take a look at the photo of, of your version of Venus, and uh, maybe you can explain it a little bit to us. I mean, it is amazing. Everything there is balloons. Everything is balloons. A lot of people looking at it think that the tree in the background is something else. It's not. Uh, right now you see these the flowers that are sitting there, the roses. Those are also all balloons. That tree in the background is balloons. The only thing that isn't is the backdrop, which I painted also with my... Uh, design partner, Kelly Cheadle, we, we wanted to be able to get as much in there, make it as, as close to the Botticelli as possible, and it's kind of nice to, to be able to work on a piece of art um, it, and have, you know, Botticelli did all the design work for yeah. us, so it's just a matter of recreating <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, you recreated it. I have to tell you, whenever I first um, heard about your work, before I saw it, I thought, okay, we're going to have a collage of of hats, wiener dogs, and flowers. You know, a lot of people think that about balloons, and in <laughs> fact, there's a little bit of confusion because I'm not the only balloon artist in Art Prize. Sure. So a lot of people have come up and said, oh, well, we already saw the balloons, and oh, wait, that's no. not what we saw. <laughs> and it's been a lot of fun seeing their reactions as they realize that comparing two different balloon artists is like comparing two different painters. I mean, you yeah, wouldn't, right. you wouldn't com uh, say, gee, the Picasso doesn't look anything like the Da Vinci. Exactly. Let's look so. at some more of your other works and um, tell us about these and, and, and how you made these, what you did. Right. So these, like I said, are also balloons. It's balloons um, fit around a wire armature. Um, known as fantasy flowers. So oh, these are actually pretty. a little more permanent than the inflated ones. Yeah. People ask about them deflating. I did the uh, wedding dress and tuxedo just very recently at a, at a wedding. And wow. these are made frequently for people to wear. Uh, this particular they one is on these. display. Yes. Wow. I just did a fashion show in Las Vegas. That was in uh, Hong Kong last oh. year. <laughs> uh, preparing for the Olympics. How long did it take you to do uh, the, the birth of Venus? Venus, the actual construction of it was about three days and three very long days. One day we actually crashed, slept uh, <laughs> right in the middle of oh, the piece. You needed the rest. <laughs> okay, now you made some aragami. Yes, to bring I wanted. Here. I you know always try to find out who the local folks are, and I, I found out I was going to be meeting you. I wasn't going to have a chance to meet Lee, so I thought I'd work on him instead. Oh, well, everybody, what do you and, think, uh, Lee? Down, I mean, and to see uh, how good it looks. Let's oh, bring I do Lee get in to meet him and, uh, and see I, if Lee's head you? looks I like Lee's head. <laughs> well, are you saying I'm an airhead? Is this an airhead? What I'd do you say think? it's an intelligent airhead if it is. <laughs> he looks younger than Very I good. do, that's yeah, for no sure. Wrinkles, huh? That's awesome. Well, you can see Larry Moss is putting on airs at the Furniture Campus building. It's the Paula Scott Unlimited. It's at 560 Fifth Street Northwest in Grand Rapids. Larry Moss, thank you so much for being with us. A lot Thanks of fun. Oh, me. that's cool, too. A little birthday. Yeah, I, yeah, I made a birthday cake. cake for Aww. me. No, I thought I had to do something for me. So. <laughs> I like that. Very no, nice. Anyway. We'll be right back.